Hey guys, welcome to the YouTube video. Today it's going to be a showing off video. I haven't gotten much, but I got enough to do a video. So I hope you guys enjoy. First things first is some of my flea market finds. I found another machete. Didn't know if I showed this already, so I figured I'd show it again. I've already used it a couple times. Found that for $11. And I manufactured this out of one of the brass pieces I brought back from D-Queen. And I used one of the boots that I brought back. A beautiful dagger, which I'll be happily putting for sale. And then I used one of the spoons I bought to make this. A little scalpel. I used one of the blades that I bought. And I bought a lot of pocket knife parts. This isn't all of them. This is some. These are all Remington parts that I'm saving. And I found some lighters for my good buddy. So I thought I'd go ahead and show these off. And I found a handful of Zippo parts, and I found him a cigarette lighter holder. No, it's just a cigarette holder. My apologies. He, he's already bought that and all these. And this one he particularly liked because it has a U.S. battleship on it, the USS America. And all these he's either going to clean up or reuse. And I found him one of the items he wanted me to find, a table lighter called the Queen Annie. Beautiful. And I found this at a flea market for myself. This is a buck 42801 that the blade is removable. Like that. And sadly, it did not have the sheath with it. Luckily, I had one. Beautiful. That's going to look great in my collection. And I bought one of these. This is a reproduction, but this is a reproduction of a World War I British dagger. Sadly, made in Pakistan, but it was only $15. It's just going to be a display piece. I'm never going to actually use this. Beautiful piece to my collection. And another item I got is this beautiful Spyderco. I think I've already shown this, but I'm going to go ahead and show it again anyway, just in case. Those in the comments will let me know. Spyderco Japan 4810. Traded my buddy some games and some cash for this. Beautiful. And last but not least, now for before I show this, YouTube be advised, I am old enough to own this. This is my personal firearm, and I am old enough to own it. Just to be, disclose that. I bought this, a Heritage Bartender, chambered in 22. Went to my local pawn shop and bought it, because I've been looking for one of these for quite a while. Paid only $150. It's in great shape. Overall condition's really good. No major damage. Sadly, does not have the Magnum cylinder, but I'm going to order that. Again, just letting YouTube know, I am old enough to own this. I bought this with my own money. Beautiful. Cannot wait to do a video on that. Uh, sadly, that's all I've got to show. Cause I'll show off the lighters real quick. I found him that one. That's a Marlboro one. And, of course, have y'all seen this one? I found this beautiful brass brass one for him. And I found this one he actually let me keep because it's got, sadly, someone carved their initial into it. It's a gentleman's lighter made by Zippo. And I might still sell this one to anybody who wants it. I'll ask a couple of my buddies first. And this is a Zippo part that I found. And then this is a gentleman's lighter missing the top. He's already bought that. So this stuff he's already bought. Anyway, that's all I got to show. I hope you guys enjoy. And as always, stay sharp.